Hey Fly Tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Just like to wish everybody a happy new year and a great start to 2018. Today we're going to be tying a variation of the classic woolly worm. This is the Pyramid Lake version created by Guiden and Fly Tire Jan Nemec from Nemec Fly Fishing. This is a good fly for when the water clarity isn't optimal, you know, a little bit of dirt in the water. This uh, chartreuse is going to shine through that. So typically they're using this fly. As you can see, it's an unweighted version. And they're using this with sinking lines. And it's purposely unweighted so that the fly bounces rather than scrapes the bottom. And they're using the weighted lines to get it down into the depths where it's needed. And specifically, this one's designed for fishing in Pyramid Lake, which, as many people will know, is a pretty storied lake for some of the really large cutthroat trout that inhabit the depths there. So let's have a look at the material list. Get started. going to start by putting a fresh hook in the vise. Today I'm using a Mustad R75-79580. This is the Mustad signature model, but if you've got any sort of 4XL or 5XL hook, that'll work great for this pattern. And we're going to tie this in a number 6 today. So we're going to need some black thread for this fly, and I'm using a 140 denier ultra thread in black. This is about a 6 aught thread. If you want to use an 8 aught, be my guest. It's nothing wrong with that at all. So we're just going to start by putting a base layer of thread onto the hook shank just to kind of give some traction to the materials that we're going to add. We're just going to wind our thread down to the bend and then back to the hook point. First material we're going to tie on is a little bit of the fluff from the base of a chartreuse schloppen feather. If you don't have any suitable schloppen or even a saddle hackle that has a nice bit of fluff at the bottom, you can use a piece of marabou. That'll work just great. You just want to tie that on short. And I'll just show you here, after we lash this down, how to shorten the fibers there. So one thing we don't want to do is cut it. So we just want to pinch it and pull it off so we get a nice little bit more natural look, not the sharp cut that you might get with a pair of scissors. So next we're going to take a piece of small ultra wire and we're going to use a chartreuse color just to give a little bit of contrast to the hackle on this fly. We're just going to take a short length about three or four inches and we're going to wrap that along the hook shank. I'm going to leave a little bit at the end there. We're just going to pull that back, fold it over just so that it gets really locked down into place. This just kind of ensures that the wire isn't going to pull out. All right and we'll set that back. Next we're going to take a bit of Estaz. This is or ice chenille, something like that. This is the fluorescent green opal chartreuse or opal fluorescent green estaz. And next we're going to actually tie in our hackles here before we wrap our chenille body forward. So you can see I've got two hackles here and you can see the top ends, those are a little bit webby. And we want that just to kind of really put a bit of material right at the front of the fly. And using two hackles, this is a heavier hackle than most flies. So we're just going to put those back to back. Or we're just going to stack them, I guess. And what I like to do is just tie them in so that the 
concave is facing me so the underside of the feathers is facing me and we'll tie those in both together and one thing I like about this method of tying in the hackle for a woolly bugger or a woolly worm is just that you get a really good um, tie in with this thread you don't have to worry about the hackles not being secured properly in front so now we're just going to start wrapping forward our estas and uh, with the feather in front there it can be a little bit tricky but just uh, be patient and just stroke back the fibers each time you wrap that just to make sure you get a nice densely wrapped body and then just before we get up to the feather here we don't want to crowd that eye too much so we're just gonna throw a couple wraps in there just to tie off that material and we'll just trim off the S does and now we're going to pull those hackles together we're going to kind of pull them towards us and we want to just make sure that all the hackle faces backwards like you would with a regular woolly worm or woolly bugger type pattern and so with both hackles together we're just going to take a full wrap right at the front and then we're going to slowly spiral back and we just want to make sure that we leave some space in between our wraps just so that chartreuse shows through and then we grab our wire that we tied in in the back and we're going to use that to reverse wrap the hackles and just make sure that we capture in that hackle really well so this is going to be pretty secure fly we don't have to worry about the trout uh, snipping the stems of the hackles here So once we get the wire up to the front, we're just going to take a few wraps to secure that, fold it back, lock it in place, clean up that head a little bit, and a helicopter off the excess wire. And we're just going to come in and trim off the tag ends of those feathers. Get a little bit. Uh, proper there on the back you can come in and trim that up a little bit more if you need to and we're just going to add a couple whip finishes just to kind of clean up the rest of the head here and make sure that we've got all the hackle bits out of the way of the eye we'll add a second whip finish and we'll come in later and we'll put a little bit of head cement on this as well just to make sure that fly is going to be secure when we're fishing it one last thing that you might want to do is just take a, a brush uh, like a dubbing teaser that sort of thing and just uh, kind of pull out any of the hackles that might have got trapped down when you did that reverse wrap just take a minute and rough it up a little bit with the wire there and the double hackle stems you should be at a danger from breaking the uh, hackles we should be fine with that hey fly tires thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying video make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns tips and reviews if you enjoyed the video take a second and hit that like button if you have any questions or comments you can post them below in the comment section i'd love to hear from you Thanks for your support of the channel, and until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.